is the corrupt we claim. It is your evil that will be sought by us. With every breath, we shall hunt them down. Do not kill. Do not rape. Do not steal. These are principles which every man of every faith can embrace. These are not polite suggestions. These are codes of behavior. Spirit of Santa. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. Hey guys, welcome to the Breda 92 stock to not review. Obviously this isn't stock anymore, but as we go through the video, we'll do some tabletop stock, shooting stock, and we'll get to shooting it with all kinds of mods put on this bad boy. Obviously it's clear checked before and ooh, now it's got a real smooth sweet light trigger pull and all kinds of mods so the Breda 92 is a classic meatball blaster guys and I wanted to get one and show you the review having said that not every firearm that I show is mine some are lent to me by friends some are the ranges some are rage rattles some are test and evaluations that people uh, companies send to me um but i'm very happy now with this modified uh meatball blaster this is a breaded 92 a1 there's a bit of an unboxing review already but now that it's got all the mods this thing is really sweet the 92 is a great platform it's not to say that uh Breda's customer service is so awesome <coughs> or that their finish is so great. <coughs> but as a fighting pistol, um, it really is great. Now, I'm not always wearing it in my shoulder holster, this uh, Bianchi X15 Dirty Harry shoulder holster. But, um, you know, it's a really great pistol if you have bigger hands. Uh, if you have smaller hands, you might want a newer um, 92X style or vertex style but just changing the grips out can do a lot um other than customer service <coughs> which, but um anyway it's a great pistol it's going to be a long review guys the brother 92 obviously everyone knows it from die hard but i'm going to be mixing in some other movie footage here because it's a classic pistol it's our military pistol adopted in 85 as, as the m9 and uh you know you got lethal weapon but besides lethal weapon you got boondock saints you got Equilibrium, you got all the magnificent films by the great director John Woo. Um, so I'll be mixing in some footage, hopefully it gets away with it, and uh, make it an enjoyable film for you guys. So we're going to have a lot of shooting stock, we're going to have a lot of shooting not. Uh, first we'll go to some tabletop of it in the stock version. I'll give you some looky-loos of some of the mods now. Ooh, it's popping back up. I'll give you a looky-loo of the sights now that are wonderful and easy to pick up. And there's nice space on the side so it doesn't obscure if you want a real confrontation with somebody. Really loving these sights. Um, but usually I'm going to carry it in this JM Custom 2.5 Claw. This thing's amazing. I'm over 40 with a belly, and honestly, with a black t-shirt over it, I could actually get away with this long Nagara mag. Um, I'm actually going to carry it with the shorter one, probably, but I could get away with the long one. I just picked this one and put it in for the video, because it looks a little cooler, and it was empty. Um, but it folds it here with a great wedge, and it hides it really, really well. Yes, you can conceal carry a full-size pistol. Um, this, this holster's been great. And fast. Um, great, 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 great holster. I got it with the uh, IDOT straps. I think that's a little better for serious carry. Uh, for around the house, I uh, got this really beautiful Don Hume inside waistband holster with the clip so I can carry it around the house or grab and go in the nighttime if you need to investigate something, that kind of thing. Um, and um, my cheap little wedge I made there. Uh, and this will be good for maybe a fast jaunt out of the house if I need it or something more along those lines. But mostly for around the house, I'll do this and occasionally wear it outside. And then if I'm going outside for a long time, this thing's actually 
comfortable. The barrel's not really digging in with a wedge. It's not really digging into my hip like I thought it would, like I had done with um, uh, a different holster before. So guys, anyway, let's get to the review. We'll start with tabletop stock, shooting stock. Then we'll show what the upgrades really are. It's going to be a long, nut and fancy type of review, but I hope you enjoy it in some of the movie clips. It's a classic pistol, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much. Drew? I haven't even started. Beretta 92A1 and tell you why this is the best buy there is out there right now as far as Berettas goes and, and maybe in everything if you find a good deal. The, why the Beretta 92A1 specifically is the sexiest and the toughest Beretta that there is. Uh, and I'll tell you why it's the toughest. It's the largest physically as far as different areas where there's a bit extra girth. Because this was based on the 96A1, which was a 40 caliber, or the 98A1 9x21, so a higher pressure round. Meaning that this is a thicker frame, actually. It's thicker in various little small detailed areas. And it has a recoil-reducing uh, buffer inside. So because of that buffer, doesn't really need it for 9mm unless you're going to shoot plus P+. Plus. If you want something that's going to have a steady diet in NATO or a good occasional use of plus P+, plus, this, in my opinion, is the toughest Beretta 92 that there is. This being Italian and having the rounder trigger guard, I think it is the sexiest. You know, until the Enox 92X, um, until 92X prices drop, this is really a great buy because it's the toughest, it's the sexiest, it's made in Italy. The finish, this has just fired 150 rounds about, and it's really good slide to frame fit really really pretty slick i'm pretty impressed with that and it's not a wilson combat or anything but but i think that's pretty darn good dasa um if you have large hands this is a great buy because it comes with three of the 17 round sand magazines so it's got the d10 in the middle to drop the grit the sand the fine afghanistan Afghanistan sand down in it and really um, these are the best magazines I think that Beretta puts out are these you know this would still serve the home defense role it has two slots some Berettas come with one um, that do have rails some have two uh, the newest ones have three uh, but two slots pretty much good enough here so this is my first kind of me being off camera tabletop review so if it's not the best guys I apologize just wanted to give you some nice looky loo. Now, being brand new, the double action pull is pretty long. But I can stack it to right there. I just practice stacking it. I'll do some 13 round headshot challenges with this next time, hopefully. Uh, but you can put a D spring in pretty easy, I believe. So that's something I'll look into in the single action. I was. Just getting ridiculous splits, I think. So towards the end, I was doing fast five um, towards part one of what I did today. And single action is just boom, reset. Ridiculous. Because of the weight, 33 ounces of this pistol, no recoil um, at all. And that was with hot SMB. And even when I shot the hollow points, uh, it's really a beautiful pistol. So Hey guys, re-recording the beginning here, intro of the 92A1 Beretta. This is the biggest, baddest, sexiest bad boy uh, Beretta makes and the best value for your money because you can find some great deals now that the 92Xs are out. 
This is kind of the hidden treasure based off the 96A1. Made in Italy, made in Italy. Very good fit and finish. Very good slide. Uh, it's smooth like butter. Uh, with the rounded trigger guard, light rail, three dot white sights. Comes with 317 of the sand uh, style magazines. So you get the best magazines basically Beretta has. It also went through two McGar magazines, brand new, and two ACT magazines. It just functioned follow, flawlessly with four different kinds of ammo. The first magazine was loaded with SMB 124, then it was loaded up with SMB 115, then it was loaded up with the two McGar magazines were loaded with Federal 115, and then the two ACT magazines were loaded with uh, 115 Arms Corps ammo. This was a brand new pistol, brand new magazines, Ran through all seven magazines, uh, no problem. So you guys, you'll, you'll see that now. It's a little like Back to the Future here. You'll see that going into it uh, right now. But um, this thing's just beautiful. And uh, I really, really, I think I'm going to enjoy it quite a bit. So look for your own Bread at 92A1. Thanks. All right, let's go with uh, the 1700 with 124 SMB first. Uh, I'm at about 12 yards, it looks like, about 12 yards. Let's do single action to begin with. And I dropped too low, so bad on me. That would be about right. Uh, and I dropped too low. Let's go some more. At about 10 yards. So we did. Well, obviously, that's more like it. Five out of these six. Right there. So let's keep going. I'll go for the head at 10 yards. What about that? Perfect function. So I did. Got all my headshots. One, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. So all in there at 10 yards, pretty good stuff. Very low recoiling gun, even with SMB, which is hotter than most American stuff. Uh, it's really a pleasure to shoot so far. Okay, new target, 10 yards, SMB 115. Perfect function, lock back, been great so far. I went a little more upper thoracic that time. There we go, and you see it at a faster pace. And I, I, I more up here than down here, even though it's A zone USPSA style. Upper thoracic, you see all there, it's a jagged, jagged line, pretty much. Uh, those were from earlier, so yeah, everything was in a, in a fist hold at 10 yards. Not bad. All right, let's see if I can, at 10 yards, if I can hold them in the head. I think I, I think I just slam loaded that. Here we go. Perfect function, lock back again. All right, looks like my fault. I pulled one a little high, real human head that would still be in there. Uh, but the rest, nice jagged, either 15 out of 16 or 17, how many were in there, all covered by a hand, all covered by a fist, almost, all covered by a hand, one a little high, but uh, not bad centerline still, so very, very accurate pistol. 
All right, guys, let's try my first couple shots in DI. I've never done it before. I haven't drawn from this holster. I'm using a relentless tactical inside the waistband holster, appendix style. Uh, it's so this is with a 18-round um, uh, McCarr magazine that's flush fit, which is totally awesome, making the Beretta up there from eight, 18 plus, 15 plus 1 to 18 plus 1 in the same size. That's great. And uh, uh, my thumb's broken, too, so if my shooting's off, that double action's long, and uh, eventually I should probably put a D spring in there, which is pretty easy to do. All right, here we go. All right, two right in the spine, upper thoracic, and one um, still in the long, lower lung, but two right on the spine, upper thoracic, and two in the top of the heart, aorta out. So that's pretty awesome. Decocked. Putting it back on fire, reholstering safely, pelvic tilt, down in the holster. There we go. Let's keep going. At 70. <laughs> uh, I dropped two shots low. Let me uh, decock, unsafe, and back. So eventually, like I said, I'd like to have a 92X um, GR Centurion, uh, but this is a beauty and it's a great buy for the price if you can find a good deal on it. So guys, my very first shots did SA transition were these two upper thoracic in the spine here and one here down low in the lung. Next one uh, was here in the spine, upper thoracic, two a little too low for my liking, uh, but still not bad. All right, same thing, seven yards. I don't know, about like five, six yards here and just drop some shots. All right, he is perforated diehard style. So diehard style, this guy has been perforated pretty good up in here in the smaller A plus box, couple up here aorta and, and one up high in the T-box. Uh, but shows you what it can do uh, recoil wise, being 32, 33 ounces, like 33 ounces, uh, absorbs that recoil like nothing for the rapid follow-up shots. Really great. Right about five yards, 20 round magazine, uh, advanced base plate, extra the new base plate, um, which is really great. Okay, about five yards, I'm just gonna do some of and beaks. And this relentless tactical holster is fit every single pistol I have. <laughs> Boy, it could save you a lot of money. It's been great. Uh, I'm new to appendix carry, guys, so the draw might be eh, but working on it. Seems like the transition to the headset was pretty fast for me. Jagged hole. If you're seeing those hits or not. As you can see, it was very easy to make those double taps like uh, Mozambique's at like five yards and uh, pick up the headshots. They're really good stuff. All right, new target, new magazine, Axe Magazine with Arms Core ammo, five yards. Dead center, one in the neck area, collarbone, and headshot a little high, but in there. Yeah. 
end zone, and then the second one a little high again. I did a motion beat that time. Put that a little high. I got to work on that. Okay. Back off, dude. Back off. I don't want trouble. Back off. Hup. Nice hit shot that time. Here we go. And lock back perfect on the act back with the arm square ammo. Good stuff. Not bad, not bad. This only shot I hate. Obviously, these five A zone good. These two are good. These are all neck, throat, spine, artery. Uh, that's all good. That's the only one I don't like. The headshots, eh, a couple were just a little high, but in there, pretty good. All right, new pistol's been perfect. Perfect. All the magazines, perfect. Perfect function, perfect lockback. Let's keep going. Back magazine, arm square ammo. Very fast splits, I think. Very fast splits, I'm guessing, on that. Okay. I think I got two more. Should have two more. Go for a double headshot. I got to get on to man. Hey, man, mind your own business, man. Keep a distance, please. Hup. Two headshots. Perfect. What a beautiful pistol. This thing's absolutely been phenomenal. I uh, ran through all these magazines uh, and it's just been great. It's been awesome. 92A1. Right.